Hey guys, welcome to the 11th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at constraints. So the first constraint that we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is the equal constraint. Now the equal constraint will basically just um, make two objects the exact same size. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is making two circles the exact same size. So we're just going to go ahead right here and create uh, one circle, a big circle, and then we're going to create another smaller circle right over there. Alright, so say we want to make both of these circles the exact same size. So what we're going to do up here is just select that equal constraint and then just go ahead and select both of these circles. So we're going to select this circle right here and then this circle right here. And as soon as I click, it should resize one of them to make them the exact same size. And yep, as soon as I did, it just made them both that bigger size. But let's say I want to choose uh, which one I want to resize. So let's just go again right here and draw um, two circles, a big one and a smaller one over here. So say I want to make both of these circles this smaller size. Well, what I'm going to have to do is use this fixed constraint right up here and apply the fixed constraint to this smaller circle. So when I do so, what it will do is it will fix this circle's position and size. So um, whenever I use that equal constraint, it will be forced to resize this circle and it, since it can't change this circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix this circle's um, position and size. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the equal constraint to both of these circles. And when I do so, it should only resize this one since it cannot change this circle at all. So I'm just going to select both of these circles right here. And as soon as I do so, we see that it changed this circle over here since it cannot change this circle. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is for the equal constraint with circles. Um, you can apply it to lines and arcs and all that stuff as well. So let's just create uh, two lines right here. So I'll create a bigger one and a smaller one down here. And let's say I just want to make um, both of these lines the exact same size. So I'll just apply the equal constraint to both of them. And as soon as I do, it should just make them both on um, the same size. Now, just like with um, circles or anything else, if you want to um, select which one uh, will be changed, you're going to have to use that fixed constraint. So I'm just going to go ahead right here and redraw those two lines, make a bigger one and a smaller one right there. All right, so let's say I want both of these lines to be this smaller size right here. So I'm going to actually have to apply the fixed constraint to this line right here. So I'm just going to go up to that fixed constraint and um, apply it to both of these endpoints. Because if I only apply it to this line, it's only going to actually apply it to one of the endpoints. We need it to fix the position of both of the endpoints. So we're going to have to select both of these endpoints right here. And when I do so, we see it changes that whole line to a blue color, meaning that that line is fixed. It cannot be moved or resized. So now when I go ahead and apply the equal constraint to both of these lines right here, it's going to be forced to resize this one since it can't resize this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And yep, it just resized this other one over here. So now um, this line and this line are both the exact same size. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to the equal constraint. Now the next constraint that we're going to be looking at is this uh, tangent constraint right here. And the tangent constraint will basically just make a line and a circle tangent. And if you don't know what tangent means, it basically just means that the line is only touching the circle once. So it's just basically touching a side, it's not going through a side. So let me just go ahead right here and draw a circle and I'll just draw a line right here. And currently this line is not tangent to the circle. And like I said, tangent basically just means that this line only touches the circle once. It doesn't pass through a side like that. It only touches the edge once. So now I'm going to apply the tangent constraint to this line and the circle to make these, um, this line tangent to the circle. And when I do so, we see that it just went ahead and made that line tangent to the circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in here. And when I do, we should see that this line only touches this circle once. So if I just zoom in here, no matter how far I zoom in, we see that, yep, that line only touches that circle once. It does not intersect it anywhere. It doesn't go through it or anything. All right, and you can obviously apply the um, tangent constraint to a line and like an arc, for example. So if we were to just go ahead right here and draw an arc uh, like that, and we just get a line right here, we can obviously apply that uh, tangent constraint to this line and to this arc 
so that um, this line would be tangent to this arc right here. And let me just do so. Let's apply to this line and this arc. And yep, as you can see, it just made that line tangent to that arc. So if we zoom in again, we can see that this line only passes through that arc or touches it once. It doesn't actually go through it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the equal constraint and the tangent constraint. In the next tutorial, we'll hopefully finish up with these constraints. Alright, so see you guys.